Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome. I'm sure most of you are probably watching this from home, and I would certainly like to share my best wishes with you uh, and your family. Today, I'm going to try to answer two basic questions, which is an interesting question, is the market for NFTs real? Um, and then how do we contribute to the overall growth of the, uh, of the industry? The first is kind of an interesting question because in 27 years of starting companies, this has been one of the fastest growing industries that I've yet to experience. Now, obviously, NFTs have been around for a while, um, so it was an overnight sensation, but there's no doubt that it has become very quickly a very large industry. I think the reason that people ask this question is because of the overall simplicity of NFTs today. It tends to be almost exclusively a single digital asset. And it really sort of reminds me of the early days of the internet when, when you did internet publishing with HTML, the publishing system was, was very simple. You could center align things, give a little graphic, and a lot of people didn't, <clears throat> didn't take it seriously, even though it was growing very, very, very rapidly. But it really was the simplicity of the actual technology itself. Now, those of us who are in it, we recognize that over time, the complexity and the overall publishing solutions would, would get um, much, much better. But to somebody who ran a magazine uh, company or who ran television production company or newspaper, the internet did not look very scary. And so a lot of them thought that it was actually a bubble. Today, we have kind of a similar situation where the standards around NFT are extraordinarily simple, single asset. And what we've been doing at Vivid Labs is really kind of bringing two different visions to the industry. The first is to jump over the idea of a single asset NFT, look at Jeff for a video, and instead create a basket of media and content. So long form videos, um, audio, images, uh, PDFs, really files of any time can all be DRM'd and placed um, on our blockchain. In addition, we also allow those NFTs to be updated. And this creates a significantly deeper and richer NFT experience. And so that obviously works for the sort of self-referential uh, NFTs today, which I really mean they're just all digital. They, they completely exist in the digital realm. Um, one can imagine an album that now has all the songs, it has recording in the studio, it has concert tours, it has tickets, it has all kinds of things in a single NFT, and we can see how much more valuable that would be than just a song. So it, it for media, this large basket of content can be up to 35 you know, gig gigabytes, um, represents a huge jump forward in the overall capability of an NFT including the ability to push additional content over time. The second part, which is really just beginning, is the ability to connect these rich NFTs to real world goods. So for instance, I'll give you an example, and this is kind of extreme, um, but it helps to make a point. So if somebody goes and buys a $15,000 Hermes bag, it's very expensive, they don't want people, even though they look the same, to believe that it's a $750 version made in China. So when you buy your bag, it not only comes with proof of ownership, but it also comes with a video that shows how it was made, images of your bag, um, and other content that actually makes the purchase more valuable, that communicates more about the product and its value in the form of an NFT. Because it's updatable, it allows the marketer to have a relationship that's ongoing with 
the NFT buyer. And so when you have this combination of these very rich NFTs that are updatable, you already have a substantially more interesting solution for media, whether it's art, it's music, whether it's television, but you also now have the ability to connect these NFTs into products that exist in the real world. And it's those two things that we believe we are bringing to the industry and we think are the future of the industry. And with that, I will turn it over and say thank you very much. And I look forward to answering any questions you may have.